Hey, train fanatics, welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, please do subscribe and thanks for being here. There's this one model of engine by MTH that I have been looking at for quite a while, and it's rather hard to come by in these days. And I found it on an obscure website of a local hobby store. Well, not local to me, but uh, out of state. And uh, I was about ready to pull the trigger, saving up a couple shekels for it. And literally about two days before I was going to purchase it, poof, it went away after months and months and months of me watching it. Has that ever happened to you? I don't know. So I uh, started to browse around some more and thankfully was able to find another website uh, that had one available, uh, which was Sidetrack Hobbies out of Leonardtown, Maryland. And it was actually slightly cheaper <laughs> than the one I was watching. So I think it worked out uh, for the best for me. So I got it in the mail recently and now wanted to finally get it out of the box, take a look at it and make sure it runs and give it a close look. I'm really excited about it. I hope you like it. Well, it came in a nice big box, even though it's a very dainty little engine. So hopefully it's well protected and arrived without any damage. We'll find out here. And a big thank you to the folks at Sidetrack Hobbies. Uh, they were very pleasant to deal with uh, on the phone. And got this uh, out to me uh, very quickly. So great customer service, very friendly folks. So if you live in the area, go check them out. Otherwise, you can check out their uh, website. And I'll go ahead and put a link uh, to their website uh, in the description of this video. But they have a lot of interesting uh, items in their inventory. Quite a huge selection. So definitely worthwhile to take a peek. Packaged. It's a big box. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way here. And it's a big purple box. It's a 440 American steam engine of the Strasburg Railroad. Number 98. Let's see here. Which end am I? going to destroy. Let's try this on here. Okay. There's our manual and warranty. Other documentation. As long as you don't drop. <laughs> wow. Oof. It is quite beautiful. Old <laughs> Strasburg. Wow. 
Let's go ahead and look at the tender. Has that nice new smell to it. Even though it's been sitting on a shore, stel shore shelf for a few years. Oh, look at that coal. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and oh, here's our controls. Hey, just like the uh, SD70 ACEs, use a screwdriver for volume and smoke. Oh, and you have a three rail versus two rail option. All right, on this receipt, they put a little choo-choo stamp and a thank you. I thought that was pretty cute. And they also threw in the box a little pen with their uh, business name and address, Sidetrack Hobbies. So oh, that was a nice gift. <laughs> wow. The detail on this model is incredible. It looks fabulous. I really love the cow catcher in the front. It reminds me of the Old West. But all the intricate brass handrails, little uh, rails here to control the um, swinging bell. We have the number 98 on the side of the headlamp on this sand dome. Uh, we do have crew figures in the cab. The colors are very nice and sharp. We got our builder make here. So, MTH. Uh, originally had released the Strasburg number 98 uh, in 2016 and then uh, re-released it again uh, with their 2020 volume 1 catalog. So this is the later edition, the 2020 edition and each variation from 2016 and 2020 came with either scale wheels or uh, the high wheels. And this is the 70 inch high wheel uh, variation. MTH uh, managed to pack it with quite a few interesting features. Of course, we have the authentic Strasburg uh, paint scheme. We have real coal load in the tender. Metal handrails, whistle, bell, wheels, axles. Has a remote control protocoupler. Prototypical rule 17 lighting. The headlamp is LED. Flywheel crimp motor, synchronized puffing proto smoke system. Uh, locomotive speeds are in scale uh, increments of miles per hour. Wireless drawbar, on and on with all the technology DCC, DCS decoder, two and three rail conversion capable, LED lit cab interior, proto three sound. Lots of great features. To give a bit of history on this locomotive, this 440 is the American style of steam locomotive built by Alco, American Locomotive Company, in 1909, originally for the Mississippi Central Railroad. Uh, it served in passenger service for 35 years and was retired in 1944. A few years later, uh, Louisiana Eastern purchased it and continued to operate until 1960. And then it was acquired by the uh, Wilmington and Western Railroad and was shipped up to Strasburg in 1961 to undergo some uh, renovations. So it was in Strasburg between 1961 and 1964, and that's when they gave it the Strasburg uh, paint scheme. And uh, rumors abound that Strasburg really wanted to add this 
particular engine to their collection, which is why they uh, painted it in the uh, Strasbourg paint scheme of the era. But alas, in 1964, it went to uh, Wilmington, and it's been there uh, ever since. And it has done some uh, work at some other railroads, but uh, it's doing excursions for them. And uh, as of 2017, it has been out of service for the uh, federally mandated inspections, uh, but should be maybe returning back to service soon. So not only did Strasbourg paint the engine in their traditional colors and put their name on it, they also indicated they really, really liked the engine by using it in their marketing. Here, for example, is a vintage postcard from the era while Engine 98 was at Strasbourg between 1961 and 1964, uh, where they had the engine here with some uh, Amish boys. So I believe there was other merchandise as well that they were selling to promote it, but this is uh, just one instance uh, where they were showing off this engine as part of their collection with those nice Strasbourg colors. So. Pretty cool little postcard I picked up just because uh, <laughs> I got this engine, thought it would be nice. Part of the whole uh, background story of it. Here's a better close up of the postcard. Postcard, engine. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and lower this plate here. I really like how they have this plate for the engine. Definitely more realistic. I wish more engines had that feature. All right, smoking good.
Wow, so this is a great engine. Very happy with it. Looks incredible. MTH did a superb job with this. And did I mention that the windows slide open? <laughs> so, uh, great attention to detail. Uh, looks great. Uh, really unique. Not like any other Strasburg items out there. So, uh, if you want one, go check it out. Trackside Hobbies and uh, get them while you can. So great little engine. You always have to make sure that the connection is nice and snug with the uh, tender, otherwise the engine can lose power while it's uh, operating. Well, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so and like the video. Uh, please check out our other videos. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.